My name is Joe Peterson, and this is the Monday Morning Business Leader Prayer for Monday morning, January 30th. We're wrapping up. Of course, this is our final prayer in January. The first month of the year is almost over already. Um, And what a year 23 has already started out to be. Uh, Thank you so much for being a part of this prayer. If this is your first time, welcome. If you are a regular attendee that gets to pray along with us week after week, thank you for your support. Thank you for your persistence. Thank you for uh, continuing to be such an important part of our corporate time together. I'm going to ask you to really listen closely today because some parts of this prayer may be specifically written for you. Uh, Let's trust the Holy Spirit to uncover Uh, the words that he's chosen for you. Let us pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, please be gracious in accepting our humble prayers and praises this morning. We pray to you because we know you will answer, O God. Bend down and listen as we pray. Show us your unfailing love in wonderful ways. You are the Great One, the Almighty Holy One, May we always remember who you are. We come to you acknowledging both your control of our times and your goodness all the time. Father, we rejoice on this beautiful new morning in complete worship of you. Our first thoughts are of you. We are given refreshed bodies through our restful times this past weekend. We want to start this day with refreshed spirits as well. Lord, we open our hands and our hearts to receive this new day and this new week as the precious gift from you and know that the way has already been prepared. In Psalms, you told us, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. How important it is for us to keep our eyes focused on you this week with our efforts and schedules dedicated to you. Through all of this, please keep us balanced and spiritually attuned. We gather together to praise and glorify your name. We also come to share our desperation, to share our desperation, Father. Some of us are coming to you in prayer today with simple and rich praise. We are responding to your love for us in the way we constantly see your hand in our lives. We praise you for the tremendous blessings that we see all around us in our day-to-day lives. We praise you for your grace in the way you give us so much more than we would ever deserve. We praise you for your promise of eternal life and the hope, joy, and peace from knowing that you are our Father, our God, our Lord, and our Savior. We praise you without ceasing. At the same time, Some of us are coming to you in prayer this morning out of sheer desperation. We are desperate. We are desperate to see your hand in a particular situation or challenge. We are desperate for a loved one or friend to find relationship with you, to accept you as their Lord and Savior, and to fully experience your true love, grace, hope, peace, and joy. We are so desperate for this, Father. We are desperate to get over past situations in our lives that may be causing us to stumble or causing us some sort of great pain. We want to grow closer to you, but we've allowed this situation to create distance between us. We are desperate for a resolution. Answer our prayer, Father. We are desperate to experience a deepened relationship with you. We want to trust you fully. We don't want to be controlled by our circumstances. And Father, we are desperate to experience the faith in you that's described throughout the Bible. We are desperate to be able to bend our knees, to raise our hands, to fully let go and to surrender all to you. We are desperate for our timing, Lord, rather than waiting on yours. Father, take away our desire to control. Take away our false belief that we must do this by ourselves and that we are alone. Open up our eyes and help us to see that you are always right there and you always have been. Help us to feel the strength of your grip in our hand as you hold our hand and lead us 
every moment of every day. Help us to quiet our minds and to hear your Holy Spirit and the continuous guidance and reassurance that the Holy Spirit offers us. Lord, we are desperate to let go and to fully surrender everything to you. Abba Father, please forgive our unbelief and let today be the day and this week be the week that we are so clearly, that we see you so clearly in every step we take. Help us to fully accept your peace in everything we encounter this week. Help us to reflect you in our thoughts, in our words, and in our quiet confidence throughout each day as we know you are with us, as we know you are there. Father, our human minds can't grasp the depth of your love or the obedience of your precious Son, Jesus Christ. Keep us ever growing in awe, ever growing in our faith, ever growing in our clarity through you. Lord, we also ask this week that you increase our capacity to love, to care for others, and to connect in a deeper, more authentic way to the people around us. We ask that you help us to focus on our relationships with these people rather than looking at them as simple transactions. Lord, slow our busyness and increase our awareness. Help us to truly hear what the people around us are saying and what they're not saying, but what they truly want and need for us to hear. Help us to genuinely and authentically show each other how much we care. Father, you are love and we are loved. May we share this with others in the name of Jesus. Help us to be a true and constant reflection of your love and your peace, no matter the circumstances we face. Father, we want to live boldly and courageously for you. We know you designed us to do good work as men and women, as husbands and wives, as dads and moms, as business owners, and as business leaders. All of these roles are for your honor and your glory. Lord, we also ask that you prepare us for what you are doing. We praise you and we surrender everything to you. We know that these prayers will be answered and we fully trust in your will and your timing. Your will be done, Father, not ours. Your timing, Father, not ours. We trust you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, we need your help right now. Thank you in the precious name of Jesus and through the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for answering these prayers. And we close our prayer time together by saying in unison, amen, amen. Amen. Thank you, desperate brothers and sisters. Have a blessed week. Thank you also for joining us by video this week. Again, every single Monday morning, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time, we're right here starting our week, starting a fresh new week, holding his hand, surrendering to him, and being together in corporate prayer. Please join us next week. Thank you for being with us today. Blessings.